Jeff Keenan here. Today I wanted to show how I was able to add a Z-Wave garage door controller to my ADT Pulse and SmartThings system. I used a linear GD00Z-2 garage door opener. First step is mounting the tilt sensor to the top of the door. This is how the Z-Wave opener knows if the door is open or shut. Next I mounted the Z-Wave garage door controller the instructions say to mount it by the garage door opener, but the way it works is the two wires basically just close the switch. Um, so I put it right next to my uh, open close switch in the garage near the ADT panel. Um, you know, I had power available here, so this was a better spot instead of wrestling with it over the top of the opener. Next, you log into the ADT Pulse portal and uh, manage devices. Basically, just say add a device. You press the button on the side of the opener for one second and it will uh, include it into the Z-Wave controller on the Pulse system. Once it's included on the Pulse dashboard, you'll see it under, under de other devices here uh, and you can trigger it over the web browser or with the ADT Pulse app. Right now it's closed. Hit this button. It'll ask us to open. You'll see the Z-Wave controller flashes up for a few seconds. So I also have a SmartThings controller uh, hooked up to the system. I was able to add the SmartThings Z-Wave controller as a secondary on the ADT Pulse primary controller. So when you go into your SmartThings, you'll also see uh, the garage door and other Z-Wave devices that were added to the Pulse controller will show up in here. Um, th this way you have a little more flexibility. You can use either automations in ADT Pulse or SmartThings. But the only catch is uh, ADT Pulse doesn't support a lot of Z-Wave devices. Uh, so whatever it doesn't, um, you can use uh, a Zigbee device like the ADT uh, water sensors. Those are Zigbee, so you can add those uh, to your SmartThings while using the ADT Pulse as the primary controller. You can't add um, a Z-Wave device to SmartThings that is not included in the ADT Pulse. So I also added some automations into the ADT Pulse dashboard. So if the um, smoke detector is ever tripped, it's gonna unlock the front door lock and also open uh, the garage door. Uh, I think that'll make it safer uh, if you're not home or something. Uh, people can get in to take care of the fire. I also added an automation so that when the security panel is armed, either stay or away, it'll lock the front door lock and close the garage door if it was left open. I put links to all the products I used in the description below. If this video is helpful, please remember to like and subscribe for more help with home automation and Wi-Fi products.